Engineering has an impact on all our lives. Every engineering project is about making something that someone wants. It is a very creative subject. And Professor Dame Anne Dowling is a world leading engineer. Anne Dowling went to Ursuline Convent School, Westgate, Kent. She went on to study mathematics as a member of Girton College, Cambridge. Following a summer job at the Royal Aircraft Establishment, Anne became interested in applying her mathematical skills to engineering problems. Anne was awarded a PhD from the University of Cambridge on the subject of aeroacoustics related to the Concorde noise problem. Continuing her studies on a research fellowship, Anne moved through the ranks, becoming the first female engineering professor in 1993, serving as head of engineering from 2009 to 2014, and she is now Deputy Vice Chancellor of Cambridge University. Professor Dowling was also visiting professor at the Massachusetts and California Institutes of Technology. In 2014, she became the first female president of the Royal Academy of Engineering. The process of fuel combustion is fundamental to the generation of energy throughout our fast moving world. And Anne Dowling works on reducing pollutants from combustion from, for power generation and transport. She led the University of Cambridge Gas Turbine Partnership with Rolls-Royce from 2001 to 2014. Aircraft noise is also a major problem. The International Civil Aviation Authority has estimated that global air transportation will double over the next 20 years. It is clear that the negative social and environmental impacts of noise emission will increase. Anne Dowling is an acknowledged world authority on aircraft noise, noise research. Probably the best known research of Professor Dowling is on the Silent Aircraft Initiative, which was a joint project between Cambridge and MIT. The aim of this research was to reduce aircraft noise so that it is imperceptible outside the airfield. This was accomplished by a design which involved a blended wing body to produce a higher ratio of lift to drag and a new, more efficient engine design with multiple fans. The research demonstrated that the objective could be achieved, and it is now all down to the aircraft companies to produce a prototype. Anne Dowling was elected to the Royal Academy of Engineering in 1996, and in 2002, she was awarded a CBE for services to mechanical engineering. She was made a Fellow of the Royal Society in 2003 for her work on the control of combustion in aeronautics and power generation. In 2007, Professor Dowling was made Dame of the British Empire and appointed to the Order of Merit in 2015. The Order of Merit is the highest honor of the Commonwealth and there are, there are only 24 living members of the Order. They are chosen by the Queen. Dame Anne Dowling joins Sir Michael Attire, former Chancellor of the University of Leicester, Sir David Attenborough, and Sir Simon Rattle as other members of the Order. It has been said, if you want something done, ask a busy woman. Anne Dowling is living proof of this statement. She was chair of the steering committee for the Global Challenge Summit. She started the Energy Efficient Cities Initiative at the University of Cambridge, a cross-disciplinary research project addressing urban energy demand reduction by design and development of no novel technologies. Nanotechnology is cu currently a fashionable subject, and in 2004, at the request of the Science Minister, uh, Professor Dowling produced a report on the opportunities and risks of this emerging area. A further report was requested concerning breaking down barriers to university business research collaboration to benefit the UK economy. Perhaps most important for university departments, Professor Dowling is one of the four main panel chairs of the research excellence framework, the REF. Despite this enormous, the enormous importance of engineering in our present way of life, there is a shortage of engineers. Anne Dowling still finds time to talk in schools on engineering as a creative career. To see a successful engineer, a, wo a success successful woman engineer is clearly very inspiring. 
Although Anne does not claim credit for it, the percentage of female undergraduates in the engineering department at Cambridge is the highest in the UK. However, this statement has been vigorously contested by Professor Helen Atkinson of our uh, Department of Engineering at the University of Leicester. In 2015, we welcomed Professor Dowling to the University of Leicester when she gave the annual industry lecture. The lecture was highly successful and is still remembered by the students who were present. Anne made time to meet research groups in the department and she had an inspirational discussion with a group of female engineering undergraduates. Mr. Chancellor, on the authority of the Senate and Council, I present Anne Patricia Dowling so that you may confer on her the degree of Doctor of Science. Well, Anne, congratulations, Thank you. Order of merit is pretty good, it really is. There aren't many of you. So, well done, anyway, congratulations. Yeah, okay. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, and graduates, I, I, am, I am delighted and feel very honored to receive this degree from the University of Leicester with its strong international reputation. However, much as I appreciate the kind words said about me, I do feel a bit of a fraud because engineering and engineering research are team activities and I've had the opportunity to work with some great colleagues and research students over the years. And this award recognizes their achievements as much as it does mine. But, but really, today's ceremony is all about you, the graduates of 2016. Congratulations to you all. And each one of you should feel justifiably proud of what you have achieved. This is a good time to think back to the beginning of your course. And gosh, how much has happened since then? The Vice Chancellor summarized a few, the discovery of Richard III's body, Leicester City winning the Premier League. Leicester's profile has increased enormously over the time that you've been here. But haven't you developed too? You'll know a lot more about your degree specializations, or at least I hope you do, but you will have developed in so many other ways as well. And you will have built a group of friends, a network of friends that will be with you throughout your lives. And no doubt for some of you, maybe for many of you, there have been some difficult times along the way. And your success today has been helped by your family, friends, teachers and other university staff who have supported you. And this is a time for you to let them know how much you appreciate what they've done for you. You graduate in a country whose future looks more uncertain following the outcome of the referendum. But one thing is certain. Engineers, mathematicians and computer scientists will be absolutely crucial in providing stability and a secure economy. Engineering currently contributes 27% of the UK's gross value added and accounts for half our exports. With your degrees, you have a huge range of opportunities and careers available to you because the world desperately needs people with your knowledge and skills if we're going to overcome some of the big challenges we as society face. The challenge of providing energy, transport, food and shelter in sustainable ways to a growing world population who quite rightly aspire to the standard of living that we enjoy in the developed world. The challenge of minimizing and adapting to climate change the challenge of building or stabilizing economies based on real jobs, designing and manufacturing products and providing services that people want. 
Your skills and experience and your degrees are fundamental to providing solutions to these challenges. Solutions based on innovative ideas, solutions that are aspirational but rooted in pragmatism. It was suggested that I use this opportunity to give you some advice for the future. Um, that's always a dangerous thing to do, but, but here goes. My advice is, number one, find something that really interests you and that you're good at, and then work will be a pleasure, at least most of the time. Number two, all real achievements involve teamwork, work collaboratively, and support colleagues. Number three, it's good to have a vague plan of how your career might develop, but don't stick to it. Opportunities will come along that exceed anything you imagined, and when they do, grab them. And number four, and finally, you may think that your education is completed with the degree you receive today, but that's not correct. The body of knowledge is constantly developing, and the skills and the techniques you need will change with time. Life is a continual learning experience. Enjoy it. Thank you.